Hi, my name is Jesse Golub from Golub Tennis and USPTA Tennis Professional. So the question is today, how can you play keep away in doubles from the net player? How can you keep it really keep it away from them? And how can you set up your partner to for like the easy alley oop uh, at the net like in basketball? Uh, so here is my advice. So when you are returning serve, for a target that you should really should go for is this the service line and also the service line meeting the singles line for the for the alleys like the corner of the box really going for that on the return so that means that you're really keeping it away from that net player and once that happens like just hitting the ball cross court and hitting it deep like over the service line for the first like your next shot and then the next shot like i again an ideal like situation in the point in general um so that way when they hit the ball if you hit it deep enough um, and if you're afraid of hitting it deep, then like you're just gonna be like gently poking the ball, like oh, oh my god, my backhand or my forehand. No, just go go for it, and then like if it stinks in the the whole match, just keep doing it, and you're gonna get better at it. Like practice makes perfect. Um, but anyway, sorry, a little rant. <laughs> so if you hit it over the service line and hit it deep, they're gonna back up, and if they give you space, then your net player can go go forward so again i talked about this the last two weeks when the ball goes forward if you're at the net you go forward as well so if if you are at the baseline and you're hitting the ball deep enough for your opponents on the baseline to back up you're setting up your partner at the net every single time but you need to have that conversation with your partner like if they back up to hit it you need to take a couple of steps because they need to respect you. <laughs> um, because like if you're just standing there, then there's a really good shot of them hitting it nice and nice cross court when they're relaxed because like they don't see you doing anything, or they're gonna hit it at your feet, and then you're not you're not gonna hit a very good volley. Um, so again, like play keep away. So that your return, go for that corner of the service box, and then from there, just keep it deep cross court a couple times. And if your partner is aggressive, they will get that next ball. Um, and then maybe lob the net player as well. But keeping a deep cross court, I know is a simple uh, a tip, but um, and you, if you hit it in, <laughs> um, it is, it's, it's just, it's a golden rule and it really does work every single time. Um, I just, I know a lot of people that they hit it like over the middle of the, the net and they kind of like they try to keep it away from them and they're tight and they kind of poke at it and the net player just smashes it every single time. So you really need to go for your shot and go for a deep return and you gotta be aggressive in doubles and you gotta hit more your strength. So for an example, if your forehand is better than your forehand, you gotta hit a lot more forehands in, in doubles because um, they're such short points. You really just need to go for it and use your strength as much as possible and hit it to their weakness. <laughs> Uh, so I hope this help, helped you out of keeping away from the net player and doubles. Uh, click the link in the description below if you want to check out my program. Uh, I do all of my programming uh, for clinics, lessons, rec programs. You have it, team stuff at Bunwood Park. Uh, so I hope to talk to you guys soon and have a good day. Bye.